morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundoke with Reverend Yutaka Yamada. Today being Sunday, the 25th of July or the 16th of June in the ninth year of Chongil Guk. So thank you for coming. And as always, let's offer a bow to our Heavenly Parents and True Parents. Chariot, Kyombe. Haro. And let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajon men se sa chonil guk juin uri kajongun cham sarangul chunshimago hanil pumonime chanjo isain chonju te kajogul hyanson hayo chayua pionghawa toinilgua hemboge segel wanson halkosil men se hanaida. Family pledge number four. Our family, the owner of Chongil Guk, pledges to build the universal family encompassing heaven and earth, which is the heavenly parents' ideal of creation and perfect the world of freedom, peace, unity and happiness by centering on true love. Uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, I'll, I'll just join me in prayer. I'll do the prayer this morning. Okay. Our dear Heavenly Parents, we're truly grateful to come together each morning to begin the day anew with you, to be, begin the day together as a community here in Australia and Oceania. We really desire to invest ourselves sincerely and completely. We know the principle. We have you know, been blessed for many years. We've been following and serving and attending our true parents with the best of our ability. And we have come to like a major turning point in the providence where we at the time to restore the, the failure of Christianity not accepting our true parents at the end of the Second World War, you know, from 1945 to 1952 was a crucial time period and and it could have uh, changed the course of history if christianity was able to unite you know the people to uh, recognize and support our true parents but unfortunately that has not happened and the providence continued and our true father and true mother you know laid a, a the his the uh, providential uh, formula out and they followed that formula from heaven and really sacrificed their lives completely, you know, absolutely living the, the tenet of true love, which is you know, living for the sake of others and you know, to really free you and liberate our, you, our heavenly parent. So we're grateful to be in uh, this time, to be living together with our true mother who's physically on earth and walking towards the unification of North and South Korea and the establishment of you know, Chongul Guk substantially once and for all. And so that people can truly be you know, restored back to you know, our original position and, and recognize you as our heavenly parent. You know, we ask that you can be here with us as we you know, listen to your words through Reverend Yutaka, who you know, is guiding us you know, for you know, this Hundok uh, in the morning, yeah, that you know, we can really uh, understand uh, more deeply and and you know really lay the conditions that make you know for dynamic change to take place. So we want to you know, see the the restoration of uh, of the homeland. We want to see you know, this entire world become. You know, the kingdom of heaven on earth, you know, one family under God, and really live in peace and happiness and harmony and joy. And we know that this can be realized, and it's been a suffering course, and it's only been prolonged because of our ignorance and because of our, you know, uh, adherence to selfishness. We really need to remove the shackles of selfishness and, and really um, recognize the value of living for the sake of others and to expand ourselves so that we you know, embrace each other in love and and you know, see 
only the, the goodness, but stand up for righteousness so that we can you know, make sure that the community around us you know, truly you know, fights for the, the right, you know, which is you know, understanding your truth and, and becoming people that you know, can take on uh, any difficulty, any uh, situation around us. So thank you for being here with us because we know that when you know, two or more are gathered in your name that you are here and we know that our, our true father in heaven is looking down at us and, and is earnestly praying for us to, to do our best. So we ask your presence and, and we offer you this time together as a collective offering and we you know, really pray that we you know, see all the uh, successes you know, bear fruit. We offer you this in our collective names as a community and in our names, John and Shizu and Mesa, blessed central family, our Jews. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, let's uh, give a warm welcome to Revenue Tatra as he shares this morning. Thank you. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining today's morning Fundokue. Today is Sunday and the beginning of the new week. Also, we put the first heart, first moment of first heart of ourselves to our heavenly parents and true parents. Let's offer and let's begin new day and new week. And please also continuously pray for our, our Reverend Santos family about COVID and also person who are suffering on the world really many kind of situation, but really we continuously pray to their quick recovery. So this is important. So oh, now in the beginning of the day and yesterday a little bit share. Now there is uh, in the world level, um, sports festival is going on, our Olympic. So there is further some message and some wishes about the world level things. That's why now is this Olympic game is also the world level festival. I want to share a little bit some photo and also some father's word relating of this one. So are you enjoying the Olympic game every time? Not so much. Uh, yes, Mr. Arai enjoy. <laughs> so anyway, some of you, uh, really interested, some of you is not interested. Anyway, just you can show the photo, then maybe even you don't watch so much, you can just feel about Olympic, then we can go to the next story. So there is many kind of a story, of course, behind of things. So I will show the photo. So this is now the Tokyo Olympic. Have you been to Tokyo before? So now because of COVID, there is no uh, audience in each uh, Olympic Games, but uh, the athlete really invest for this day and they are gathering from 200, more than two, around 200 nations and they are fighting, they are really competing for the nations. So they are representative of nation. I heard there is some Olympic in uh, Australia, 2032. Brisbane, right? Mm. Oh, yeah. So after 10 years, this Olympic is coming to Australia. So really not so much far. Soon, this time is coming to Australia. So Oceania side also, we can celebrate and join together. So we can put this father's uh, wish together. So this is um, things. So before Olympic, there was torch, right? torch relay usually and this one also this fire come from greece to japan and this all nation uh, all city this fire is relay with people 
So total 121 days, around 20,000 kilometer, people pass the fire to move around to Japan. So 121 days is very long time. And there is one thing among this rally, actually one third generation joined this rally. Do you know who he is? Maybe you heard already. Yeah, this is our president Hori. And this is our Samunim, and also his son. Uh, his name is Kim Miyoshi. So Kim Miyoshi kun was uh, selected of this uh, one of the person of the relay. And yesterday, actually, there was a UPF event, APLC UPF event. So that closing message, our President Hori gave the speech, and he mentioned about his son. Actually, his son, when he was young time, he was so small and sometimes friend ignore him. That's why he determined, I want to become strong. So he started to karate and he got the black belt of karate. And he really determined and he said, I want to help the people. I want to support the people like the weak person like me through sports. So when they, because this, um, this uh, delay, if people have to uh, send the, some kind of essay, I want to become the members. That's why this is the public recruitment, public offering. So he also apply with his essay. I was like this in a small time, but I really contribute for the peoples and peace through sports. That's why when he offer and he was selected as the public uh, offering. So this is really great thing that the third generation, he is the one, one of the member to directly joining this uh, Olympic and uh, this uh, delay. So President Hori also sent the message to all leaders. I will read this. Today, my son Kim Yoshi participated in ceremony as a holy fire runner in the Olympics. All the TV stations reflected the scene of my son. I don't think those things are not just only my son and my family's luck. I can see more deeper providential meaning of a third generation played an important role in the Olympics. Also, I felt this is more wonderful because we were chosen from public recruitment. Around from the several thousand of letters. So more than few thousand people apply for this one and he was chosen. I feel we are just riding on the shoulder of heavenly fortune. Clearly, heaven has shown us that the heavenly heaven is on our side and continue to encourage us. So this is really present holy message. So really he is, I think this year he became 13 years old, so still small, but he really determined already black belt. So really great. So this is the TV in the news in TBS, TBS, right? In news in Japan, is it one of the major news, news appear like this. So right side, his son, Kim Yoshikun. You can see, so cute. So he is as a third generation, he's joining to bring this fire to the Olympic games. So then Olympic become more close to our, our heart, right? Yeah, he is also one of person to join. So cute. Yeah, good. So anyway, so there is many kind of event in the opening ceremony and performance. So if you didn't watch, maybe you can watch. I just want to show the photo from each nation of Oceania. Thank you, our Jenny, to find the photo. So this is the opening ceremony in Tokyo. So this is a big uh, place. So before, uh, really their leader determined, I want to do the 20,000 blessing ceremony 
in this place in Japan. In Japan, leader determined 2020. I really determined all Japanese members determined to fill this stadium with the blessing and to welcome to mother. So this was actually, I think five or seven years ago, Japan leader determined, of course, 2020 could not fulfill, but those vision will continue. So today there is no audience of even this bigger place, but someday they are filled with the blessing ceremony in Japan and the welcome to parents and to center of the Japan and the show to the world. This is also the one Japanese members also vision. And of course, the parents vision to fulfill blessing ceremony, fill with audience, fill with couple in the center of this place. This is Australian athlete. There they are joining well. I think I heard Australia is one of the bigger number of athletes, 430 or something. So many people also joining this time, Australia. This is New Zealand. So please uh, concern each nation. I'm not sure which which sports is uh, strong for each nation, but also we should cheers to them. This is Fiji. This Solomon Island. So this there each nation have a different costume. This is Vanuatu. And the Palau. So you could see this time uh, each person using the mask and Samoa. And this is the uh, Marshall Island. There is a uh, beautiful. This is Papua New Guinea. And this Tonga, Tonga, or well, this person, they are also showing the strong body. This Tuvalu. And this Nauru. And this Kilimas. And this is the Federation State of Micronesia. So all this time, uh, even small nation or even bigger nation, but this opportunity is the same. Everyone come together centering on world peace. That's why the are three parents also invested that time 1988 and their cheers and gave many kind of vision at the moment. And those vision is uh, continuing to like this. And there is also actually small nation together, some kind of the uh, Samoa, American Samoa, or I think Cook Island or several nation, I could not get the photo, but not only 14 nations, not only 194 nations, even small territory nation also joined together. So I hope, uh, hope concern and this together. Then this is photo like this. And you could see this earth. This is created by a um, drone. 1,800 drone uh, made this um, performance. And this is the, this one. So Kim Yoshikun brought this fire to this place, one of the member to connect this one. And it's like this. OK, so. There's some video YSB Japan, Naoko-san shared yesterday. So I want to share that the YSB Japan made some video. We are honored to support the Olympic Games. We have been living in Japan for many years. Thank you for coming. We cheer for all of you on behalf of your country. Cheer for India! 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 Jai Bharat! Black team die! So, so! Fight 
for Philippines and the world! Yeah! USA! Show me who's a good sport! USA! Invincible Breakthrough! USA! Come on, Japan is also supporting this one. How the connection is okay, video? So anyway, those things anyway message, it's okay. So that's why now the this Olympic is uh, going on. So father mentioned before about this is sports because in um, Africa or even the somewhere in the world, the nation and nation is conflict always or tribe and tribe is conflict always. But if there is the World Cup. You know, World Cup is famous sports in the world. If there is a World Cup, those people stop their fighting and they focus to watch the sports. That's why from now on, we should not use the weapon or power by solving the solution, solving a problem. We have to use sports. Then we will compete sports. If the winner will get some way, way to have solution something that's why father have many kind of vision that time in 1988 Seoul Olympic this one was a really important moment because 1970 1980 there was kind of the fighting between democratic country and also a communist nations that's why when America organized the, the Olympic Los Angeles Olympic in America that time communist nation didn't join and there was olympic in moscow that time american or the uh, democratic country didn't join that's why after this olympic the 1988 there was only seoul olympic in seoul that time they come together the communist nation and also the democratic nation come together to seoul and they join the Seoul Olympics. That's why that time to father totally seriously invest to the Seoul Olympic. Then he watched the three, the Olympic game with three TV and finally finish. So that time Soviet Union and the East German become winner. Number one is Soviet Union, number two is East, East German. Number three is America and number four is Korea. That's why father mentioned that time in the world level, the Kane nation and also represent of the Kane them and represent of the Able them, they united vertical and also horizontal through Seoul Olympic. And this become the opportunity. So father is mentioning, we have to create centering on God, centering on the culture of heart and have to make the festival. That's why world culture and sports festival and blessing. Maybe have you had, maybe you joined before. World culture and sports festival and blessing. This is the become vision start from 1992. So I want to share this father's message from Champmogyon. Father also mentioned the WCSF, world culture and sports festival and blessing is a celebration in which we got at the center family members of a global village, including the world scholars, religious leaders, journalists, politicians, women leaders, youth leaders, athletes, and other meet together, rooted in God. It is the harmonious integration of the wisdom and experience of the entire human race in an event of cosmic historic important importance forced on building the peaceful ideal world. The original ideal world is the world founded on God's true love, true life, and true lineage. It will be established through the new Adam and Eve who perfect the four great realms of heart, realms of true children, true siblings, a true couple, and true parents. That's why world was divided because of selfishness because of Satan, because of fall. That's why 
we have to create again one culture and one nation and one atmosphere one tradition this is our three parents and heavy parents wish so centering on the olympic in 1988 in seoul three parents proclaim about wcsf and from 1992 with the 30,000 blessing ceremony this new uh, festival world culture and sports festival and blessing was begin that time so maybe uh, you are also joining and this olympic should not be only sports also have to compete between science between also uh culture or music or each place we have to have uh, some olympic for each area that's why to have to parents had a bigger vision about through the olympics so we could see so this is a world level festival so we wish really all athletes from the nation really put their heart and success and one day now true mother is focusing the unification between north and south korea so after unification between north and south korea this olympic should be held in korean peninsula right and welcoming every parents Welcoming to parents centering on the unified Korea. How much this vision is great. So to parents continuously uh, bring to those vision. So anyway, now this is also the world level event. All people is concerned in this place. That's why I just I share uh, these things. So my, anyway, this little bit different with the Hundo contents, but also there is vision of to parents through olympic games so we can consider so today i want to share continuation not so much enough time but i want to share some contents from champ mogyong continuation from yesterday so now we are talking about the contents purpose of true education how to settle the standard of goodness so when we see the human history in the past every time good person try to establish good tradition and good culture but because of still satanic environment that's why good people always went to the sacrificial life so those person always think the family more than individual and even sacrifice family they sacrifice for people and for the nation and for the world that's why establishing the standard of goodness is not easy, so we have to study through the history. So educator attitude, motivation is important. So yesterday also our Reverend John share well because he is teacher. He was teacher, so he has understand the attitude, teacher's attitude, professor's attitude towards student. What attitude is good? What attitude is wrong? So we have many kind of expectation to teacher, but not all teacher is good, right? Yesterday also share some teacher is really individualism and really elegant, centering on own thinking. That's why father and mother is mentioning about importance of education and attitude of educator. This is really important. So I have to share this. Nowadays, problem in schools are being recognized as pressing social issue in America, Japan, and the whole world. The teacher should represent the parents and teach the pupil with, with love. He or she should educate in the context of true and eternal love. When the teacher and pupil become acquainted in the classroom, this is only the beginning point of their relationship teacher should never forget his or her pupil you should form such ties of love in other words true teachers are those who connect all their knowledge with love so this is talking about attitude of teacher when teacher uh, meet the student or pupil what kind of attitude do they have father said when they meet to the student they have to have the heart of parents and love them educate them with eternal love then 
the relationship with love will continue forever. That's why when you teach to the student or teacher teach to the student, do they have those kind of relationship? And this message is also not only talking about the teachers, talking about us also same, where we have a relationship with our brothers and sisters. When you teach or when you meet colleague in your company or business or school or everyone, what kind of really motivation and relationship do you have? When you have a relationship with others, do we are we making those relationships with them with true love or eternal relationship or just instant relationship? Today we are gathered together, but tomorrow already we don't care this person. So what kind of relationship do we have? If we can have a relationship, eternal relationship centering on true love, then even we are living in different place. We are doing different things, but we miss each other. We want to see each other and we want to talk each other. Those relationships will be happening. That's why not because of position, not because of environment. All of us also have to become those relationships. Every morning now we are doing uh, the Fundoke in Oceania level as a holy community of Oceania. So really appreciate everyone to join together. But what kind of relationship do we wish? Now we are doing Fundoke and join together. And we are doing, that's why we have a connection. But someone moved to another country or already environment is changing, then how our relationship should be ended already? Or our relationship should continue forever? That's why when you have connection, when you have relationship, this attitude, not only ourselves, even our friend, our everyone, we have to put our heart with true love and to create the eternal true love relationship. That's why true parents is, of course, talking to the teacher, but I think this is also the attitude for all of us when we meet the people. What kind of attitude? Just relationship be with employee and employer relationship or really parents and child relationship. And in the school level is teacher and student. And the national level is the president, prime minister, and the people. But the fundamental point is the same, how we can create the parents and child relationship. You should become a true teacher, but not just to earn a monthly salary for your livelihood. You should be a person who, out of love, cannot help but teach your pupil, feeling compelled to teach even while grappling with the hardship of daily life. You need to realize a relationship of teacher and disciple in which you convey all your knowledge with love, whether by day or by night, while your disciples desire to learn exceeds even your desire to teach. Such a teacher is a true teacher and such disciples are true disciples. So of course we have to live well in the daily life, but beyond of the salary or beyond of money, really I want to, I miss our people and I want, I really love, I want to be together. Those kind of heart. Can you find those teacher around us? Or can we find those students around us? I want to meet teacher so much. I want to really want to stay together with my teacher forever. Do we have those students or do we have those teachers? So this is the ideal relationship and ideal things, a relationship of teacher and disciple. That's why when I read this message, also I, this, I uh, reflect myself and also I repent myself. How much I'm really investing and loving and missing my brothers and sisters and our blessed families and our peoples and even also our leaders. So how we can make those love relationship 
and the connection and also memory and investment with our brothers and sisters. There are three critical requirements for a society or nation based on true love. First, it is essential to have parents. Parents are the ones who must bear and lay children and set them on their life path. Second, teachers are indispensable because education is crucial. Finally, owners are required. Teachers must teach love. They should raise people who are compassionate and astute people who can exercise ownership over the creation as God does. So Father uh, mentioning about three subjects thought, true parents is needed, true teacher is needed, and true owner is needed. Then we can create true society, true society is created, then true nation is created. Then who will take this role in our society? in our nation. Of course, our true parents play this role already, but beside of that, we are the one who should become true parents, we should become true teacher, and also we should become true owner and to create true society and true nation. And also in the same time, we have to guide the people to become true parents, true teacher and true owner. So this is the way we should go. That's why the parents is talking about the teacher and the pupil relationship. But this is also not only talking to the actual teacher, talking to us how we can create those eternal relationship with another, our brothers and sisters, and how we can create those kind of ideal society, ideal nation, and either world. So this is the message for the true purpose of education. So there is continuation, maybe I will continue tomorrow, but through today's also message, Father is mentioning about attitude and also relationship or meaning of education. So all concept, concept, con content and concept is finally connecting to our heavenly parents. So this Olympic game, this also the world festival message or education message. Message is same. We have to gather together beyond the border, beyond the separation, beyond the nationality, races, religion. All people is as the one family come together as one culture, one tradition, and one beautiful peace world. This is the vision of our heavenly parents and vision of our true parents. So today share some part or the many part of Olympic, but also important of the educational contents. So we put our heart, our Oceania, 14 nation plus nine territory. I'm not sure how many territory athlete is joining. I saw the, um, the Cook Island and the, the American Samoa. I'm not sure another place if you can also have information is also good, but anyway, all people joining from our Oceania region, they are also our family members, representative of us. So put our heart and also encourage. And finally, we create one nation in Oceania and also one nation in the world. All people are our representative family. So let's put our heart and let's do our best. So beginning of the new day, new week, let's create a beautiful day. Thank you very much for joining today. Kamsamida. Thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka. <clears throat> As always, you're really bringing this uh, message to life. Uh, we're, we're so grateful to be able to be here to, to listen and to, to learn. Uh, uh, I was uh, inspired by this topic also, because uh, for me, uh, education is, is really a core thing. Uh, and and uh, being with the Olympics, you know, to, this is also sports is to me education. It's a it's a mode. And I have uh, when I was going to high school just nearby here, the Peace Embassy uh, at uh, 
at Cleveland Street, there's Prince Alfred Park. And I had a, uh, my, my favorite subjects were science and maths because of the teachers I had. And I had a, an Olympic uh, athlete in Javelin as my science teacher. And so he would uh, teach uh, students who were interested uh, uh, how to, how to uh, throw a Javelin correctly. Uh, and, uh, and we would go into Prince Alfred Park and he would do this, it wasn't part of sports, he'd do it at, at the end of the day, anyone who wanted to, to do some extra uh, things. And, and basically he would, he would have about you know, 30 or 40 students turn up because he, he was so uh, passionate about uh, his science and so passionate about javelin, to throwing the javelin. And uh, I learned uh, from him correct technique. I learned through practice you know, how, to, how to increase the distance I threw the javelin from you know, uh, it, it three or four times just by, and, and he was so passionate, so full of motivation. You know, it was really just a, a pleasure to, to be around. And what I noticed with the teachers that I had was that the ones that really loved their, their, their subject and really loved you know, communicating their passion to the students were the ones that were always enthusiastic. You know, I had a, a maths teacher who, who just uh, was so happy to teach maths. I never met anybody uh, who loved maths so much that I, I actually experienced joy. And, and you know, we were high school students, but we all wanted to, because uh, one of the things, if you got the problem correct, you'd get colored chalk and write your name on the board in colored chalk. And we were 17, 18 year old uh, students who were excited because he was explaining math so amazingly that we all wanted to write our name in colored chalk on the board. Uh, and uh, you'll, you'll probably know that uh, professor who had his own TV show, you know, Why Is It So? You know, professor Julia Sutherland Miller, you know, he, he was a physicist and he just made, made it amazing. And they all had the same thing. They all loved what they taught and they all loved teaching it, and they were all enthusiastic and passionate and, and, and really uh, uh, made it become alive and vibrant. And, and that was the, the difference between excellent teachers and teachers who were there just for the money. Mind you, the teachers who were there for the money never lasted. They never lasted longer than three years. Yet only teachers uh, who really had a passion uh, and you know, became ones that uh, you know, survived, and but unfortunately they burned out. You know, they, they, but that's a different story. But yeah, uh, father is explaining. You know, that's one of the cornerstones to be a true parent, a true teacher, and a true owner. And we all are that. You know, we're all the parents, and we're all meant to teach our children with passion and enthusiasm and and love and and respect and and. When they see us excited about something, they want to be excited about it. I remember when our kids were little and we we're doing hundakpe, and I'd get excited about some concept, and the kids they'd, they'd be all listening, you know, in, with the excitement. So I, I think that's uh, you know, father is absolutely correct. You know, that uh, really need to to teach, uh, you know with with love you know true teachers you know must teach love actually that was the quote teachers must teach love uh and uh that's uh anyway thank you i'll leave it to others to share thank you yeah Revenita, go ahead okay uh as far as a teacher, you know, I was a Japanese language teacher in Kamchatka when I was in Russia in the, in the college. Uh, and I have experience with, you know, the teacher who is, uh, you know, one of the good English teacher, you know, the one of our seminar attendant, the, the lady at the time of the 50s. And recently I could get her, she's now, over 80s, and I talk with him by, by internet. Yeah, she is one of the best English teacher, you know, 
at the middle school, so where we had teaching to uh, English in, in Japan, teaching English is very not practical, too much reading and uh, you know writing and you know, like this, but cannot speak so much, you know. But that way of the Russian teacher is you know, okay, everybody at the time bring in the you know, so the classroom make like a, you know coffee and a tea, you know, Japan and Russian chai and cookie together and bringing and asking student, okay, we study about Iceland today. So you, Sasha, you, you, you study about uh, the you know, Iceland uh, culture and you study about Iceland uh, nature and study about Iceland politics like this. So student coming and uh, by uh, drinking tea, they make a speech about a research by English, you know. <laughs> So such a way of education, you know, very practical, and uh, you know, uh, so we really appreciate you know those kind of education. And the, the other thing is you know, and after Soviet fall, Minister of Education said, uh, "Mr. Ito, I don't know how to teach because be before we have a strong ideology, the, the communist ideology, but now completely take out, you know, because of the communist fall." So. Even Minister of Education doesn't know how to which which principle they should educate, you know. That's why you now we go there, and you know our how to teach about God, you know, exactly, you know. That's why well, we have a textbook of my world and I, my mira, yeah, you know, the character education, yeah. So this is really we understand what's the importance before academic knowledge. We need such a, you know, uh, education of heart. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm. Thank you, Reverend Nisha. Would like to go next? Uh, yes, Margaret, go ahead. And then after Daniela, okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I, I was very happy with the words uh, Reverend Yamala read. Uh, it reminded me of Father's uh, motto that was written in the 12 talks of the, the body of, and mind and heart of the parent and in the shoes of servant. Um, so to have this kind of parental heart to all uh, in, in every aspect of, of life. Uh, and particularly, you were focusing on education. I just want to report that yesterday we met uh, two ambassadors for peace, and they just finished the, the annual Palau Education Conference, four days. And so they were discussing about the different uh, improvements as well as issues going on in the school system. Um, and so we were uh, sharing that we have uh, intention to create a family ministry uh, to offer to the three main churches in Palau. And uh, focusing on two points, purity education and fidelity education. And immediately we got a response with uh, going to, to the board of director uh, and to present this idea because it's so much needed at this time. The, the, the annual Palau education is focusing on the teachers, students relationship. So we pose the question, who is taking care and educating the parents? Um, and so this is where the idea came out to make a proposal and, and bring it to the board of directors. So we were very happy to find that. Uh, even we were given the name of the chairman and I happen to know who this chairman is. So that's very helpful. <laughs> um, but for sure, um, the education of the heart is, is where we have to really educate the school system with. Um, and not just on the on the knowledge and intellect, uh, and we share that 
and actually they they both agree yes that's where it's needed um so i was very happy that that became a result of that short meeting yeah thank you okay daniela go ahead oh, how exciting margaret so so beautiful amazing news yeah yeah so i I feel like, um, yeah, it's um, substantiate, you know, love in myself. Now that's the real, <laughs> the real, not just only myself, but also how can I, how can I really um, completely digest, you know, the, love and be present to love and I feel like the the relationship with our closest so with my husband with my children is actually really the last um, the last kind of test you know how can I really be able to go over that go over that last hurdle it's like the Olympic gold medal is uh, that's the testing there and uh, I experience um, these uh, challenges. Think, thank God we have a business, so we're still working together. We, we have a removalist business, which is the most, uh, you know, down to earth and most kind of uh, really just the power, just physical power and a lot of hard work to, you know, carry this huge furniture. Or, so the dog has been doing that. And we really like the heart of, um, you know, the heart of a parent or the heart of really serving. I think that comes also from his, his parents as well. But obviously through, with True Father's teaching, he really kind of embodied that, you know, in his business. But the test now is, um, for me, is uh, really like we when we discuss, you know, issues, because Travis is kind of taking over now. So I can feel how I, I can, I try to, if there is a, some, there's that emotional, um, you know, barrier for me. And, and through him, through my son, I feel that I am actually transforming myself and transforming this relationship with him by truly being being present and being able to to say because he's teaching me too so he's kind of everything i say he would uh, because our children our children are supposed to teach us to help me to grow and to understand that and how to be able to truly feel like many times i felt um like I'm in a position of, uh, you know, Mary, and he's in a position of Jesus, and those relationships, they were not completely, you know, united and fulfilled. I feel like, wow, why do you attack me so much? Why do you attack me? And then when I, so I have to just not say anything, really understand where is this coming from? Like, whoa, why so painful and how to really you know how to dissolve that and because we work together every day is almost like in a consistent battle like every day you know like when you really like there is no break you're completely challenged every day mentally and spiritually every day every day and I found this kind of relief because I we treat the the, the work as they come to our house every day so I'm surrounded by boys, everyday men. And I feel like many times the, through, you know, taking care of, especially one boy that is uh, very, he, he's American. So we have all different nationalities as well, American, Indian, Greek, Italian. We have all different nationalities workers. So we have our Olympic team here. It's like the world representation. and to create this team together, you know, it's really like, wow, boy, it's, uh, it's like a miracle, but the real challenge is the transformation. So 
this boy is like uh, he comes from a um, Mormon background and I can feel his spirituality in his soul. And I can actually testify to him. I can feel truly, I can be so free to love him and to testify about what's going on in the world and how we, everything is changing now because every human being is becoming more like aware of the consciousness. You know, everybody's coming to be connected to heavenly parent now. And he's like, he's so, He's like on fire and I feel, wow, through talking to him, I feel so free to express my heart. You know, I feel like, oh my God, this is, he's giving me so much love, but also it's like, I feel God is giving me that kind of love to keep going, you know, and persevering because how it's really like a historical, Like Reverend Hito was saying, you know, our task is actually to restore, to heal the spiritual world. So it's like this is father was saying, it was saying, like, oh, well, restore the physical world is, is a piece of cake. We can do this, but it's actually we have to restore the spiritual world. So those emotions, these powerful emotions come because this is like it's just like uh, that's the you know, the real embracing of love of, of uh, our ancestors and what they experience. So yeah, it's an incredible challenge, but it's an incredible empowering because it's like the spiritual world is coming together. And the amazing thing is true father is so practical, isn't it? Like, you know, he see the Olympic games and that's it. You know, we can connect to what God is bringing the world, like the Olympic games now. So that's all the nations are coming together. So to see in a very practical way, um, how to, yeah, to, cause the children need the practical things. They can't connect to the spiritual things that we connect with because we've been together with your parents. They want practical things. So I have to become practical as well. I have to be completely like going into day level, not want to teach them what I know or what I experience, but it's like, can I truly be present to, to, to you? What is that you're trying to teach me? What are you trying to tell me? Who, who are you? Not me, who I am or my experience or my, yeah. So thank you so much. It's a miracle that we are together. And yeah, thank, thank you. you for allowing me to share. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you. It's that time now, everyone. Thank you. Uh, it, uh, I'll share the screen and we can uh, offer our unison prayer. Let's pray.
adieu, adieu, adieu. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day and enjoy your Sunday service. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Stay. Bye. 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 Uh, hey, Kathy, <laughs> are you on the road? Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Show us. <laughs> Bye, Atta. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye, -bye.